Hi, I'm Dr. David Hasey, and today I want to share five key supplements that can support better brain health as you age. I have been involved in the formulation of hundreds of different supplements. I have seen the good and the bad and the ugly in the nutritional supplement world, and it always comes back to that foundations are really important. So I want to dig into this a bit with you and give you some important information. Your brain is complex. Matter of fact, it's the most complex structure in the known universe with trillions of synaptic connections. Each one of those connections relies on proper nutrition, inflammation control, mitochondrial energy to function optimally. Your brain consumes about 23% of your daily energy production uh, because it's making a huge amount of electricity to make all of you happen. Um, and brain health is important at every stage of life, whether you're in your child, you're in your 30s or beyond. Brain health is critical, not just for memory, but for your mood, your focus, and your overall quality of life. At Maxwell Clinic, we've seen firsthand how foundational nutrition and supplements can really help optimize brain function. So first of all, omega-3 fatty acids. I consider this a vital sign, <laughs> the foundation for brain health. Omega-3s are essential fats that make up brain cell membranes. They help maintain the brain structure and the function. There are two of these fats, EPA and DHA are long chain omega-3 fatty acids, and they are responsible for um, both creating your anti-inflammatory hormones and also creating the structure of the membrane of your brain cells. Low omega-3 levels are linked to smaller brain volume and cognitive decline. Matter of fact, in the Framingham study, which is one of the largest long-term studies of human health that exists, individuals with an omega-3 index below 4.4% had brain changes equivalent to two years of additional aging. And that 4.4%, if you're not taking omega-3 supplements, you're likely at this area, meaning that you're walking around with a brain that's about two years older than it needs to be. The omega-3 index measures the amount of the most important omega-3 fats that exist inside the membranes of your red blood cells. Think of your omega-3s as really fuel for your brain. It is a critical piece of the puzzle of brain function for mood, um, memory, attention, uh, and uh, overall performance. So second thing, phytonutrients. These are nature's brain defenders. These are the nutrients found in plants that turn on enzymes in your body that protect you from oxidative stress and inflammation. Some of these examples would be curcumin. We find this in the spice turmeric. It has many antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, including turning on a gene called the NRF2 gene cassette. Um, curcumin has been shown to bind to beta amyloid proteins, you know, the things that are sticky plaques linked to Alzheimer's, and reduce their burden. Another very interesting phytonutrient, a compound that comes from plants, would be cat's claw. Cat's claw naturally inhibits the amyloid plaques from aggregating. So in the process of Alzheimer's disease, the body makes a bunch of monomers of amyloid, meaning like little single building blocks. And when those building blocks start to stick to each other, that creates a plaque, it's like a buildup. Cat's claw actually has a compound in it that serves, we call it an alkaloid wedge. And this compound will get inside the beta amyloid and split it apart so it can dissolve and start to reverse the process. Um, this compound is a lot like a cleanup crew, protecting your brain uh, at the cellular level. So. Um, there's a huge interplay between the gut and the brain, what you bring into your body uh, and what supports your gut health is also going to support a healthier brain and brain activity. All right, so we talked about omega-3s, we talked about phytonutrients, now we're going on to B vitamins, which is your fuel for your energy. B 
vitamins are critical for energy production and brain function. They regulate homocysteine levels. It's a, an amino acid linked to cognitive decline. It, they're very important in the process we call methylation, which is just a process of adding a single carbon group onto another molecule. And it's also very interesting. There's a big interplay between the omega-3 level and the B vitamins, because um, research shows that B vitamins only slow cognitive decline in individuals whose omega-3 levels are adequate. So if you don't have enough omega-3s, you can't get the additional benefits that come from um, having optimal levels of B vitamins. B vitamins act like spark plugs for your brain, but they work best when omega-3 levels are optimized. And there's many different B vitamins, and there's a lot of devils in those details, but I want to give you the overarching idea right now. Next compound I'd like to talk about is magnesium. Magnesium is incredibly important in tremendous number of enzyme functions in the body. Um, it is critical for like over 300 major processes, and many of those support brain function. The form of magnesium that I think is best for brain health is a company called magnesium threonate. It crosses the blood-brain barrier better than other forms of magnesium. Whenever you're looking at magnesium as a supplement, you want to pay attention to the word after the name magnesium. For instance, magnesium oxide is magnesium rust. It takes a lot of stomach acid and uh, processing in order to make a magnesium oxide available for your body to utilize. But many supplement manufacturers use magnesium oxide because it's very cheap and it's a very small molecule so they can pack a lot of it in a little pill. Uh, but it's not that it does much good for you. Magnesium 3 and 8 on is more of a bulky molecule because it's magnesium attached to an amino acid. And that particular amino acid changes the ability of magnesium to be carried into the brain. It's been shown to increase the density of synapse. It means the, the density of the number of connections in the brain. And this is important because with aging and stress, uh, we lose these brain synapses, especially in the parts of the brain that control your memory, such as the hippocampus. It was shown in Mouseheimers. That's great. They have mice that get Alzheimer's, poor things. But when they gave this magnesium 3 and 8 to the mice, as opposed to magnesium citrate, um, this halted the progression of their Alzheimer's process and actually extended their lifespan substantially. One thing we don't talk about much is that Alzheimer's is really a terminal diagnosis. It's not just losing your memory, it does cause you to lose your life as well. Um, the brain degenerating and rotting away makes for a body that's not able to sustain life. So magnesium helps restore these synaptic connections and supports mitochondrial energy production. Um, so very, very important. And the fifth one I want to mention is vitamin D, which is the sunshine vitamin for brain health, right? Um, vitamin D plays a key role in reducing inflammation and supporting brain cell survival. Studies show that low vitamin D levels are associated with increased risk of dementia, Alzheimer's disease, depression, ADHD, bipolar disease, schizophrenia. I mean, there's nothing that you can't really measure with regard to brain function that isn't worse for an individual who is vitamin D deficient. So optimizing vitamin D is a very simple and effective step to protect your brain. I love it when people build up their vitamin D through sunshine. Uh, you get a much, you get additional benefits from getting outside uh, and having sunshine exposure on your skin. Uh, and, but supplementation may be helpful here too. So these five supplements, omega-3s, phytonutrients, B vitamins, magnesium, and vitamin D, each play a unique role in protecting and improving your cellular health. And if you improve your cell's health, you improve the health of the organ. And the most important organ that you want to have healthy is your brain. So all of these compounds, very important for your brain health. It's important to recognize that your brain doesn't only age on its own. 
It's influenced by nutrition, inflammation, stress, and gut health. So if you're serious about supporting your brain, talk to your nutrition-wise clinician about incorporating these nutrients into your routine. All these supplements are also available at Maxwell Clinic in our Creating Health Supplement Store. I wish you well.